with 34 points, because we're, we're pretty anal about these points, at 34 points was the 2021 Sea Dew Fish Pro 170. Okay? That's a big deal. Um, this ski, they made some changes. Big changes for the Fish Pro. All right. You could get that, you could get the dashboard, the digital split dashboard with the GPS and and Bluetooth with your phone and all that jazz. That was a big deal, of course. We wanted to um we wanted to acknowledge that. Obviously, that was the big dash. Everyone wanted um, you know, oh, can I put that dashboard in my GTX? Can I put it on my RXTX? We did articles on it. All right. Um, it's a pain in the butt. It voids all your warranty. It's super not worth it. <laughs> but there are people who like, I have to have it. I have to have it. Okay, fine. And that dashboard was very innovative. Okay. So that was a big, that was a big ticket item for the fish pro. Number two was the fish pro tank extension. This one was a particular favorite of mine. Just because I I had gone out on fish pros, and the big thing about that was you could put your food in there and not have it mingling with all your bait and all your you know your catches and all that kind of stuff. So that was a big deal. But of course, the massive thing that was the biggest uh, was the biggest concern and was the biggest innovation was also kind of a pain in the butt was the addition of IDF. Remember IDF? IDF was introduced on the Fish Pro. It was a hot topic for a long time. And a lot of people were freaking out over IDF. And IDF was designed really, I mean, obviously with the switches all having it later, but they wanted IDF desperately for the Fish Pro. And IDF was a hell of an innovation. Okay, it's a transmission, and they they had they had some hiccups, they had some teething issues. Um, thankfully, though, by late June they had them pretty much resolved. By late June, it was pretty much resolved, and Cdu thrashed. I mean, really thrashed to try to make it right. Um, a lot of people got stuck out on lakes. A lot of people got towed in. A lot of people had some major breakdowns, and a lot of dealerships did half-assed jobs. Going to call it as it is. Just going to lay it all out there. But corporate was committed to making sure that IDF was not an albatross around their neck, and they're still chasing service, you know, service requests. They're still making sure that everyone's happy, but they're working on it. And there's guys who are literally like, dude, I never had a problem. I used it all year. I never had a problem. It worked great. And okay. You can't say you can't say no. You can't call the guy a liar. It worked fine. So the the fish pro, the fish pro took a two-year-old model, added some minor things. I, I to be honest. One of my favorites was the link cup, the cup holders. And then they had the anglers out at the front. These are, you know, the new anglers right above the, the speakers. M tiny little addition. Tiny little addition. You talk to every guy with a fish pro, they're like, dude, night and day difference. Night and day difference. Huge difference. Guys who didn't opt for the dashboard, didn't care. I got my big Garmin. I'm, I'm cool. Tank extension, great. Love it. IDF works great. Or I barely use it. Okay, fine. But there was enough innovation there and there was enough pioneering technology that it was in the top three. With zero argument. I mean, we just we just looked at the numbers and we're like, dude, fish pro. And they sold every single fish pro. CDU has sold every single fish pro every one of them all right and a lot of people aren't even fishing off of them okay which is crazy to me 
Like, why would you buy this machine if you're not like totally dedicated to fishing? And then there's like, dude, I just like the tank and I like this and I like that and blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, that's a lot of money to spend for something you're not totally committed to. But um, Sea Dew Fish Pro, easy bronze winner. Easy bronze winner. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.